at the beginning of this month, Dijkes Dude alerted me that the Kretvat discount stores had received another batch of Hot Wheels. I believe this is the L case. So as I've mentioned before, they don't always have Hot Wheels. Uh, they have them uh, every few uh, months or so. And they only get a few cases a year. So uh, each store does not get a full case. They get uh, a selection of a case. Sometimes a lot of the same castings, unfortunately. So I don't know what's up with that. And uh, who has the time at the uh, at their main warehouse to kind of uh, make piles of the same castings and then send those uh, to uh, one and the same store. But anyways, uh, I picked... Um, well, most of the stuff I wanted. Um, there's a few American cars I did not pick up. Um, because I don't have space for them anymore. Um, I did want the electric Mustang, but I could not find that one, the blue one. I went to five different locations to find uh, all of these. And... Um, there's another one I did not get, um, but uh, I can't quite remember what that was. So here's number one of 250. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a, a, fair, a very fair price for Europe. Uh, most stores sell these for between two and three euro, which I think is which way too much money. Um, anyway, this is the Volvo. P1800 Gasser, the winner of the Legends Tour, a UK uh, participant. So, previously in green, now we get this uh, metal flake red, almost a uh, maroon. It's got the, the Saint on the door there, Hot Wheels, some chrome. Let me get three tempo sides. Not a fan of the blue window piece. The coupe clip in blue with the red base. So every time I get one of these, I show you what's up with the uh, the previous ones I've gotten. So they are all in use on the as a keychain, and this is on my uh, car key for my. 2017 Honda Civic station wagon. So this is the first one, the Zamek one with the white roundels on the doors. Uh, those have uh, completely disappeared, but the uh, the production date code is still there. That's the only one, only thing printed on there that's still on there. Then the second one was the red one. So the flat black paint on the base has a worn off quite a bit. White roundel on the doors also. And the uh, red paint as such is uh, holding up pretty good actually. It's just around the back here that it's uh, it's kind of, yeah, chipping off a little bit. And we got the black one. So the goldish base is holding up pretty good. The um, Hot Wheels logo is disappearing. The side deco and the top deco here in the front is still in good condition. You can see the front is uh, very nicely kept. And the back there's also some paint chips for the, the black paint. And then I'm going to attach the uh, blue one also on a set of keys. Oh yeah, there is some uh, some smudging here on the roof and I've noticed there's a few other cars that have smudging on them. I don't know what they do in Malaysia with these blisters um, and there's a little uh, paint defect in there also a little bit of a dirt particle in there but you know it's going to get uh, damaged anyway being a, a keychain. So there you go, another set. First example I have of the mainline Mazda 77B. So this time with the metal wing, which I prefer over the plastic wing on the, uh, the premium version. 
mismatched wheels also on this um, no lensed headlights painted on and uh, three tempo sides also on this cool Chrysler Pacifica for the minivan video nice green muddy tires and mud splatters on the side and it's got the quad in the back the electric Nissan Leaf Nismo RC02 in white three tempo sides also on this one Little wing, plastic roof piece. DMC DeLorean, a flat blue. DeLorean Motor Company, white rims. So got three tempo sides. I noticed for the first time on this casting that the uh, the window is open so that's the only part of the window that opens up because of the the strange shape of these gullwing doors and I uh, dug out an early version of this casting and here the the window piece is closed and this uh, version the early version had uh, the back part that opened up the engine cover so uh, they changed more than just the uh, fixing fixating the uh, engine cover so that it doesn't open anymore they also changed the window piece to have it uh, open interestingly the electric automobile lipinin farina battista i saw this on uh, jay leno's garage just recently pretty impressive but I thought the um, the ride was a little bit bumpy doesn't seem to have a lot of suspension not my favorite deco on this the roof is nice if you have to make it a plastic piece then uh, yeah put some detailing detailing in there 1973 Honda Civic Custom orange I like the, uh, the structure here on the windscreen windshield for the banner front end nicely tempoed and just the hood of bonnet with a uh, fingerprint in the paint interestingly and we got the back side done too nice the beautiful BMW 507 V8 convertible nice chrome shiny base so mix for the bumpers and the grill in the front BMW logo with some chrome on the hood or bonnet side vent with the logo again door handle interior is well nothing to write home about lotus amira gunmetal gray also has a uh, plastic roof piece but it's got this uh, structured part that does not see through um, thanks to that uh, plastic part here we can have a little bit more metal on the front bumper I believe and that's why uh, it's got metal all the way down there a little bit plastic in the back with the diffuser and the exhaust but very nicely tempoed I have to say it's kind of hard to show you on this dark version 
Yeah, all in all, that's a nice model. I've seen a lot less metal on other uh, releases of other models, obviously. Very pleased that this was in this uh, case. Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 liter. In orange, previously in white. It's got an or orange base that uh, they try to match the body color. Plastic inserts or part of the window piece for the uh, the indicators in the front there and the taillights. Nicely tempoed, even the 75 for 75 years of Porsche. Side deco and then the front deco. So yeah, that's basically four tempo sides. That's nice. Sweet. New casting, Volkswagen ID bus, electric, minivan. So these new bases are uh, yeah, not very detailed anymore. So we have a plastic roof piece again. Well, actually they could have done a better job with this uh, roof piece because you can kind of see the seats through there. So uh, it should have made a little bit more structure. Uh, it does have a disc for a steering wheel, so at least it's not some kind of uh, ugly looking tombstone thing or something else. Uh, dashboard is looking okay, so we get uh, two seats in the front, obviously. So we get um, three seats in the back. The middle one is a little bit more forward than the others, it seems. Maybe that's just my idea. And then we got a uh, cover in the back that uh, yeah, kind of hides the post which is attached to the lift gate in the back. That's good. That way we don't get an ugly post anywhere. I like the two-tone. Uh, basically full deco. It's also a uh, metallic yellow by the way. So there's, uh, there's the, the white paint and the tail lights are a side deco and the headlights too. Side deco and they match up nicely with the front deco and the rear deco. So, well this one not so much. This is a little bit off but the other three are pretty uh, spot on. So that's nice. Again we get four tempo sides. Sweet. I wanted to compare this to a um, Matchbox. This is the Volkswagen Microbus. This was a concept for, from the early 2000s. Copyright 2001, so probably a 2002 uh, release. The first uh, version of this casting. I'm not sure when this exact uh, super fast version was released. So uh, there's definitely some... Um, some uh, similarities between these two. Not so much in the front, of course, uh, headlights have been updated to a more modern style um, and bumpers are very much different too. But then if you look at the side profile, it's much more alike. There's a little bit more of a, a little bit of a, a hood or bonnet here that the, um, well, this one also has a hood or bonnet, but it's kind of a straight line. Continuing from the windscreen or windshield while there's a little break here. Uh, on the actual model, but still it got the three quarter window in the front there that this one also has. And in the back again, kind of similar but not the same. Again, we got uh, the Christmas lighting lights that uh, continue between the taillight left and right. can definitely see the, the small windows. They're a little bit taller here on this one, but still there's much more body than there is a, a window or glass, both of them. 
so definitely uh, style wise of course there's more than 20 years between the two of them but style wise there's definitely some similarities it's just a much more updated version the new one Nineteen fifty six Corvette, also a new casting from the uh, Barbie movie. And you can see a very plain base. You get the uh, deco in the front, Barbie on the license plate. I'm not sure what it says here on the side. Uh, if you know what it says, please comment. Maybe I, I will be able to read that on a big screen, but uh, yeah. seems to say that on the front too. No deco in the, deco in the rear, so just three tempo sides. And of course, uh, this is a new casting because it has a back seat where there would uh, normally be a uh, a cover for the uh, soft top. This is another casting. This is a uh, 1955 Corvette. It's a 2021 release, but it's based on the original uh, 2012 copyright release, so metal base uh, that clips into the body and makes for the grill. Uh, notice the much nicer interior on the uh, the left one. A uh, not a proper steering wheel, but at least a disc with some uh, some details of a steering wheel on there. This one is a disc, but you know you cannot call that a an, uh, an detailed disc, where as this one has a lot more. Uh, well, seems to have uh, nicer details on the disc. And the uh, interior, you see the seats. How they uh, nowadays they cut off the seats and then have uh, just a hole where you can see the base. Here you got. Uh, a proper interior so seats that actually support not only your bum but also your legs and somewhere you can put your feet on and when it was uh, retooled this casting to have a plastic base the, um, the grill is part of the body and the interior got simplified seats got cut off and the disc is part of the uh, dashboard now so there's not even a stump to uh, kind of make it look like a, a steering wheel. Yeah, disappointing. Matchbox also did a uh, Corvette 57. So uh, this is a uh, 56. So it's very, uh, very much alike in the, in the back. Whereas the 55 had these uh, kind of wings style things in the back and more of a slanted front end. A little bit wider the matchbox. And a little bit longer too. So, yeah, definitely a difference in size. But the matchbox got a proper steering wheel. A nice looking interior and full seats. Not the first Barbie Corvette we got. There's also this one. Different kind of pink. Look at this beauty. Alfa Romeo GTV 6 3.0. Again, very plain base for this new model. New wheels, they look kind of cool. I did not pay attention very well, so this one also has some smudging on the, the hood or bonnet. I don't know if you can see that. And um, the uh, Alfa Romeo grille, well, the emblem in the front is not that well done. So I found several of these, so I should have looked better, but you know, I picked the first one and then you know how it goes. You don't know if you will end up finding another one because you know I had to go to five different stores. Uh, then another store had several of these. 
So we all, oh well, I already got one, so I only need one. And uh, leave the other ones for the other collectors. Because, you know, there's, uh, there's so little of them. That's, there's not enough for everyone. That's, that's what it is. That's the truth. At least not over here. Koenigsegg, Jamera. Hybrid. Also very plain base. This is not a new model. Just a plain yellow, so beware of paint chips. Got a little ghost symbol there. New casting, the Trouble Decker. One of these locations had received three of these. Imagine that. For the London bus collection, I had to grab this, but not sure if I will pick any uh, future ones of this Trouble Decker. It's kind of weighty because uh, there's a, a thick base with these exhausts, so kind of a weighty base, but the body is all plastic. A big hood scoop here. There's a piece of plastic sticking out of here. El Segundo, which I'm sure is not in the UK. Uh, they got the little stairs here in the back. That's the only interior piece we get to see. It's got the wheelie bars and the chutes in the back. Toyota Land Cruiser 80. Great casting. I missed out on the first one, the gray one. Uh, but yeah, I'm very pleased to grab this one in the Then and Now series. My favorite Hot Wheels series. Yeah, also plain base, but not a new casting. Three tempo sides on this. Looking really good. Big spare wheel on the back, which is different than the ones on the vehicle. And very wide uh, wheels also. The glass sunroof has a little bit of a wind deflector on there. That's a nice touch. They often do uh, something special with these, these uh, sunroofs like that. Makes it more realistic. Then there was the... Um, garage sale that uh, was organized uh, by a few uh, friends of mine and uh, I also uh, sold some stuff there. I sold quite a bit. Uh, there was not a huge turnout but everyone who showed up uh, bought some stuff so that's good and uh, the most of the stuff I sold was bought by um, Tim Brass who um, uh, I talked about before. Uh, he uh, gifted me some stuff in the past and I bought some stuff from him at uh, at the uh, three inch meeting in Hoogstraten. And this time he uh, showed up from Holland, so quite a, a drive, and uh, bought a lot of stuff with me. And he also brought some stuff for me. Uh, he gifted me this uh, Time Shifter treasure hunt. So, kind of a panel van station wagon. Generic. 2017 copyright. I think this is the first example I have of this uh, casting. Um, kind of reminds me of a Datsun 510, but I'm not sure if it's modeled after that. Um, it's got a lot of plastic, even the, the back side is completely plastic. I'm not a fan of that. I'm fine with the, the see through roof. You can see the wheels in there. It's got the, uh, I believe these are air filters sticking out of the, the hood or bonnet. And then a completely um, a plastic front end with the part, headlights and grill part of the window piece. Got the intercooler in the front there. That's also something that reminds me of the 510 wagon. Here we got the circle flame logo inside of uh, what looks to be a compass. So yeah, not bad, but it's, I probably won't pick up any more uh, of this casting. But it's a nice gift for sure. 
for my school bus collection he got me this uh, generic welly um, you can see welly die casting sold under a different uh, brand name ultra auto um, specific for this uh, dutch uh, company that uh, imports these i guess uh, so yeah school bus kids on board so i'll open this up in the school bus video and he also brought this one for me to uh to trade with uh with something i had that he wanted Volkswagen Van Samba from Burago. I have the red version, but uh, I never got the green one. And it's a 2023 release, so it's a pretty recent one. So very lowered stands so yeah, pretty much full deco although it does not have the Volkswagen logo on the back engine cover opens up a little bit crooked but yeah. sweet and then most of the rest of the stuff I got from uh, Kurt Seeley, who uh, was uh, the uh, co-organizer and owner of the venue. I got, uh, well, a few interesting things. This is a RMZ City in a Spanish packaging. Uh, so RMZ City will cater for stores and uh, put their blister on a, uh, on a card that uh, for their store so for instance this is also an arms at city from the uh, stupid toy store as you can see it's the exact same blister on there with the two uh, extensions here to uh, make them stand up on the table and then the round bubble blister which, uh, which is exactly the same cards are the same size even uh, as you can see, but a little bit different shaped um, on the on the corners, but uh, on the bottom they're, they're exactly the same. So uh, he paid almost two euro for it, but uh, he let me have it for one. This is a Volkswagen T Rock. Um, if you can uh, read Spanish. You can uh, read what's on the back here. I think uh, Juguetos or something like that is uh, toys in Spanish. Something like that. And this means that uh, the wheels are free rolling, I believe. Gold version of this casting. I have uh, a metallic blue one. So new interior on these. You get the tail lights, and then you get uh, almost uh, completely detailed or tampoed front end, which is nice. And a casting I did not have yet, the McLaren 600 LT, 2022 production. I don't know, not sure what uh, production this was. 2020, look at that. That's uh, a few years ago. A nice orange. Got the uh, tempo is on the side, on the front, and on the rear. So that's nice. Way to go, McLaren. Oh, and there's even a tempo on, uh, a black tempo on top there. Yeah. McLaren is uh, demanding. Uh, Quite a lot of stuff from Arms at City. That's awesome. Nice one. Yeah, that's a nice surprise. I also had some uh, interesting Mondo Motors City. 
164 Nissan GTR, also one euro. Most of them were yeah, one euro. Uh, now, Mondo Motors um, is more known for the bigger stick scales, but uh, they have been dabbling in 164 for years and have uh, relied on uh, all kinds of different die cast manufacturers for their uh, three inch cars. Um, Motormax was a supplier at once. At one time, uh, I did a video on Italian diecast, a live video, so you can uh, find that in my live playlist if you want to see all the different Mondo Motors um, suppliers. I uh, talked about that in that video, so I'm not going to elaborate on that. Uh, these are provided by um, Blaymind Limited. This was already opened, it doesn't matter. I like me a Nissan GTR. There you go, Playmind Limited, Nissan GTR. So generic rims, you get white paint for the headlights and some black paint for the middle section of the grille. And we get a nicely detailed back end there. Look at that. That's nice. A uh, disc for a steering wheel and an okay looking interior. And uh, actually got a metal spoiler that has a uh, some open space underneath, so looks realistic. Often these uh, holes are closed up and uh, that doesn't look very realistic. Staying with Nissan, the 350, sorry, 370Z in flat black. Side deco, top deco here on the front and rear deco, so or tempo sides on this one not bad at all wheels leave a lot to be desired that is true but that's often the case with these basic diecast cars Porsche Boxster in gold this one has a reverse base wheels are too big and yeah pretty ugly nice Porsche emblem seems to be about the right size and again the car make and model printed on the uh, the boot or trunk there nice and fine yeah, interior leaves a lot to be desired to definitely for a convertible and the Shelby Daytona Coupe probably the least nice casting wheels are too big Some silver paint on the bottom here for the uh, side exhausts, I guess. No tamp on the rear. It's got a spare wheel in the back. Just lights in the front and uh, top tempo for these lights, the headlights. And a little bit of uh, opening there for some uh, air ventilation, I guess. Yeah, not that impressive, this one. This was also one euro. This is a, a Dodge Magnum, unlicensed, made in China. Um, I did some research on who could be the manufacturer of this and um, was left undecided. It um, resembles a few Chinese manufacturers castings, but uh, they all have Slight differences compared to this one. So yeah, hard to tell who made it. A welly in a proper welly packaging. Old style packaging, no way to tell the uh, year. It does have a 2006 copyright by Volvo, but it's not sure that is the actual release date and these were imported by the uh, parent company of uh, Majorette, Jada and uh, Shuko, the Simba Dickey. Uh, not sure if this is a very dark green or a black one but I do not have it. Uh, I have a red one of this, kind of a maroon almost. So yeah, for one euro 
I'm definitely going to pick that up. It's a nice casting. I like the model. Look at that. It's dark green. Nice. Jaguar XK Coupe. Final plastic tires, generic rims, some silver around the windows on the side. Nicely detailed in the back. Jaguar XK on the license plate. And then we got the grille detailed and headlights. And it's got a nice interior with a proper steering wheel. What more would you want? Sweet. Staying with Welly. Also one euro, although uh, he paid quite a, f a bit more. In a uh, UNICEF livery. This is a pullback car. It shows you here. Um, so it's always interesting to find these kind of more rare models. Um, at least to me it is. Let's take a look. Um, Norf did a um, Toyota Land Cruiser for uh, Doctors Without Borders a few years ago. It was expensive, but uh, you know, I never got it because it was expensive. But you know, in hindsight, I should have gotten it. And uh, you know, if you buy one of these, you support a good cause. So that kind of uh, legitimates it for me, spending that kind of money. Not this one, this one was cheap. Mitsubishi Pajero, pull back. So it's got the UNICEF name on the doors, on the hood of bonnet, and then United Na Nations on the roof. Um, got silver for the headlights and the red for the Mitsubishi logo. Indicator repeater on the side. Black rucksack with some wrinkles for the cover. That's nice. And the base clips into the body and uh, to hide those black uh, pieces, they tempo it with uh, a reverse light and a uh, fog light or a reflector, whatever it is. Right hand drive, proper steering wheel, all the good stuff. If you want to know what uh, a regular nylon tire wheel looks like on these, so you get a bigger rim and a more narrow tire than these. Uh, pullback cars that have the rubber tires obviously for traction so yeah very cool to have uh, another version of this not a lot of Mitsubishi and basic die cast so I'm always happy to add another one this one was uh, 2 euro this is a Motor Max Dodge Magnum 2005 the RT version uh, this one has rubber tires. It's not a pullback. Uh, this was, was uh, from a uh, American graffiti set. And uh, I found this in a uh, Motormax 5 pack with uh, the other cars having plastic wheels. So I explained to, um, uh, to Kurt that this car did not belong in there and that it was more valuable than the other cars. Um, I did not want the uh, other American junk that was in that uh, five pack. So uh, eventually he uh, decided to take it out and just sell me this one loose, uh, which I was very pleased with, obviously for my wagon collection. It's a cool car. It's nicely detailed front and rear. I could do without the flames on the side, uh, but you know, that's fine. I'm just happy to have uh, another uh, Dodge Magnum in the station wagon collection. He also had this Tomica Basic, uh, which uh, he let me have for three euro instead of the six and a half he probably paid. This is a Toyota Velfire minivan. Yeah, I don't know anything about what says on the rest of the box comes with a little uh, flyer interestingly 
There are some play sets and city sets, and then here's got uh, another minivan on there and a Prius. Cool. This is made in China, not made in Vietnam, interestingly. Hmm, okay. No suspension. Usually these bigger castings don't have suspension. 159 scale, 2009 date on there. It also says 09 on here. So I noticed this before that this might be the, the year of release on these boxes. Mm, some silver tempo for the Toyota logo, the Valfire Valfire name and the V6, I guess it is on the right, so kind of hard to read on the, the metallic silver. It's got a sliding door, that is cool. There's uh, three seats in the back there. Don't think there's an interior in the back here because these are not actual window pieces. This is black painted, uh, uh, black paint on the metal body. I mean. Oh, and another sliding door on this side, so you can just uh, walk through this thing. Some matte black around windows. In the front we get a chrome grill with uh, a logo that does not resemble the Toyota logo. And uh, I think the headlights have a different silver paint than the, the body actually is. Sweet. He also had a X-Car Toys the Volkswagen Santana station wagon. Um, there's no licensing info on this thing. The only thing it says is certification approved. Usually I uh, am a stickler for licensed models. I have one other X-Car Toys and that's this Audi RS6 Avant. This one does have the uh, Audi official licensed product uh, logo on there it almost looks like a dealership release actually um, so yeah not sure about this one but hey for three euro uh, I, I wanted to have it you know it's a station wagon so let's take a look X car toys 2019, made in China, 164 scale. It's got some silly wheels on there that have the VW logo on them. That's pretty silly. Uh, it's a strange green color, almost an army green. It's got painted taillights, Santana name on the lift gate and the VW logo. Some black for the lights cluster for the license plate. It's nice that it has a, a chrome strip on the bumper and the cladding on the side. Lens headlights. For this kind of money that is uh, pretty impressive. Indicators in the bumper. Interior is uh, pretty basic. It's got a disc for a steering wheel like a Hot Wheels. Uh, so yeah, that's not very impressive. Comes with a few accessories. Oh, yeah, it does have suspension too. Again, for the money. That is impressive. It comes with some uh, better wheels that do not have the VW logo because that looks just silly. And these are yeah, kind of wire wheels with rubber tires also. And you probably noticed the holes in the roof. That's for the, the ski box. It also comes with, so you can just slide those in and then uh, luckily they do not stick out these pins through the roof. So that's good. You don't actually see that. A Tula ski box. So since they put that on there, is it safe to assume that that is licensed? That's why on earth would you put that on there if it's not? Or am I just not thinking like a Chinese person would think? 
nonetheless, this looks pretty cool. This one I got from uh, my friend Heron van Damme. It's the only one I got from him. This was five euro for this Norev, a uh, Peugeot partner in the Peugeot Assistance livery. As I've said before, these Assistance liveries are very popular. And uh, yeah, I was glad to find one in a box for uh, an affordable price. Metal on metal, suspension, chrome steelies, trailer hitch for the non-existent trailer. This should open in the back, but as you can see, it rubs against the roof part, so I'm not going to force it. It's got some silver paint on there for, for the, the Lion logo, the Peugeot name in the left and the partner in the right. The lights are painted, all the uh, assistance, which is probably correct to what these assistance vehicles looked like back in the day. Separate piece for the light bar in orange, lens headlights, Peugeot emblem in the front again, a uh, flat black painted metal bumper, and a gray interior. Oh yeah, there's actually a back seat in there because they did the uh, window versions of these two and only wanted to make one into your... That's fine. And then I saw in, uh, on TV a, an ad for a um, something you can find in a press shop or in stores that have uh, magazines and stuff. First edition, only one euro for this release. So you get a uh, little magazine and a uh, diecast car, uh, which uh, many of you will recognize as a Welly. So um, the next release, the second one, will be almost six euro. I'm not going to bother paying that much for a Welly. Uh, and uh, here's the other cars in the set. Most of them I already have. So again, not interesting to me. Let's open this up. Some of you might be interested in the uh, the magazine. And this is a cardboard piece for uh, reinforcement. Some more uh, advertising. I actually have this one, uh, which uh, you can get free with uh, edition number 30, apparently. And this is free with edition number 65. Look at that. And here's a few of the other ones that will be released. Uh, this is nice. Don't have that one yet. I don't have this uh, FSO Polonaise, I think it's called. I might have this one. I have several versions of the Beetle, but not this light blue. I have the Capri. I have the 2CV. I have the, the Volkswagen Type 2 T2. I have the Corvette, but in white. Uh, I have the Wrangler, but different color also. I have this Mercedes SL in red. I don't have this one, that's interesting. I have the white Bentley. I have the green. I think this is Ford pickup. This, I think, is an Opel Monta. I don't have that. I have the Trabant. I don't have this Fiat, which might also be an FSO. I have the Renault R4. And this one we're going to look at now. What else is in there? Oh, some more advertising. Uh, what do we see in here? Yeah, I have most of these here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have most of these. Mm -hmm. Yep. Some more advertising. Jeez. They really want to sell their stuff, don't they? Okay, here's a list of a few of the vehicles in the set. And then there's the actual magazine, so we get uh, a little bit of history on the Citroën DS, the goddess. It's all in Dutch, because, you know, that's what we speak here. I think it's a Spanish company that uh, issues these, but uh, you know, different language for each uh, country, of course. We get uh, the history of DS. Mm, some uh, engine stats and other stuff. 
interior. And a few pictures in there. Well, you know, not really worth the uh, extra money if you get the uh, the next release, in my opinion. Tapes up as they always are, these welly cars. Actually mentions the vehicle on the box though, DS23, 2.3 liter engine size, 1973. Not sure why they don't come in a proper welly box, why they have to have their own Super 9 branded box. Must be a marketing thing. 1973 Citroën DS23 says also on the base. So vinyl tires, generic rims, but they suit the car very well. Nice metallic blue. Got some chrome on the side, detailed silver for the headlights. Separate chrome bumper in the front. Chrome bumper in the rear. We got a little bit of a red reflector there. Painted up. No orange paint here on the indicator on top. That would have been sweet. And we got the uh, double chevron logo on the boot or trunk. The little push button to open it up. And then uh, I'm not sure what it says there on the right. Maybe on the big screen. DS23, possibly. Not sure. Dear looks okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's got the uh, proper steering wheel that looks exactly like the real one with the one spoke. How sweet is that? You see, you don't expect that from a one euro vehicle. And then the seats are nice too. That's awesome. Job well done, Welly. Thanks for watching.